Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Email me directly for pricing at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model launched in 2016 from Audemars Piguet. This is the Royal Oak Double Balance Open Worked, and it is self-evident. We have an open wrought movement with a balance on each side. And of course, it is the classical Royal Oak 41 millimeters in stainless steel. It's 10 millimeters thick from lug to lug tip. The watch measures a meaty 51.2 millimeters, but if you add these rigid end plots, that is the links that join the links, then the absolute distance across the wrist is an even meatier 54 millimeters. Now, the timepiece wears large. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, like all of the 41 millimeter Royal Oaks, it wears more like a 42 or a 43. That said, I believe this watch could be worn on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. It's certainly low enough to fit underneath the cuff, so no problems in that regard. It is one of the dress or Royal Oak options. You just need a large wrist to wear it well. The timepiece includes a beautifully finished bracelet. Now, the bracelet for a Royal Oak and Steel takes between 9 and 11 hours to finish by hand, and the details are exquisite. The timepiece features a lovely expanding bevel that splays out across the lug hoods and then continues perfectly along the shoulders of the links. You can see the links in profile feature vertical satin from overhead, feature longitudinal satin. You'll even note these little polished ends to the intermediate links, and they're very difficult to see unless you roll the bracelet through the light, speaking to the attention to detail. This is an entirely hand-finished bracelet on a hand-finished case. As you can see, it is a double folding clasp with a twin trigger release. It is a very sophisticated and substantial clasp worthy of an offshore. It feels solid enough to be on a pure sports watch. Removable links are fixed by screws, and you can see internally the clasp is both media blasted and satin finished. It is also a sequential close with one side closing after the other. Rolling over to the case, you can see that it features a combination of creases and curves, though the creases stand out the most. Satin finish on the flanks, and you can see the character line runs down through the edge of the bezel, the mid-case, and into the case back. The bracelet is fixed to the case using screws and bars, a secure arrangement that is superior to spring bars, and also a little bit more expensive to make, but this watch is worth it. A feature on the Royal Oak since the first one in 1972, the bezel gasket is expressed as a hairline of black synthetic. You can see it's a very small styling accent. We have a hexagonal crown that is a screw-down crown. It's 50 meters water resistant, surface swimmable. And then we have those hexagonal bolts inside the bezel. And each of these bolts, and they are bolts, made of white gold for a lovely contrast. The warmth of the white gold bolts against the silver satin of the bezel. It's a rounded octagon inspired by a vintage diving helmet that was designer Gerald Genta's keystone for this look. You can see externally it's a rounded polygon, but internally it is round. You'll also note that the inner bezel is mirror polished to better reflect what lies within. We have a track outboard for reading the minutes, the seconds, and the hours with applique rose gold indices, rose gold hands at center, and then a gold gilded bridge for the primary balance. There's a secondary balance on the reverse side. This is caliber 3132, and it is one and the same as the dial of the watch. So there isn't a dial so much as an open-worked movement, the watch living up to its billing. Now, it does feature luminescence, so you can read it at night. You'll also appreciate that the dial features a number of enhancements to create drama. We have the contrasting gilded bridge, and then we have the nickel anthracite blackened bridges, and you can see each bridge is satinated on its top, and then every bevel internally has been mirror finished. You can even see quite a few places where two sharp bevels meet in a crease or an interior angle, and there are dozens of them in here, front and back. This is a true hand-finished Audemars Piguet movement. There are many mass-produced Audemars Piguet movements. This is not one of them. It is technically superior and aesthetically beautiful. This is one of the rare cases where a Royal Oak's interior is as laboriously crafted as its exterior. Automatic winding, 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate, 38 joules. It does feature stop seconds and a 45 hour power reserve. Now it is the double balance and it's free sprung with a full balance bridge on both sides, which means it is a rugged architecture that's fairly shock tolerant for a high horology movement. You can see that we have a free sprung balance. On one side, we have a flat hairspring, and we have a balance. And then on the other side, let's get the winding rotor out of the way, we can see the hairspring is actually free-sprung, but 180 degrees out of phase with the other side. As a result, 
we have two things going that help to enhance the accuracy of the watch. First, twice as much balance mass. With two balances, we have twice as much balance mass to mitigate the effects of shocks and concussion on the rate of the watch. With the hair springs 180 degrees out of phase with each other, any position that causes one to run fast will cause the other to run slow, and they will cancel each other out by an equal and opposite magnitude. This is a sensational watch inside and out, and one of the rarest modern Royal Oak variants. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.